Ladies and gentlemen, this is it, the national playoffs, the finals, the two semifinals between Olympians FC, Capital City SC, Brockton FC United, and Ginger Alana. Taking place in Silver Lakes Park in Atlanta, Georgia. We're gonna go over the first semifinal between Capital City and Olympians FC. A game with a lot of chances for both teams. The first semifinal where the team of Olympians will come out with a victory. Clear chances for both teams like I previously stated. Olympians and Capital City. We see a shot here from inside the box. Good save by the keeper. Olympians opening up the scoreline. Great cross from the left. And the finish is for Gordillo Velasquez. In the 54th minute, putting Olympians FC up 1-0. Nothing the keeper could have done there. Try to save it, but the shot was too powerful. Clear chance here for Capital City. And the save right in the line by the defender. It could have been 1-1. Great save, great clear by the center back. Olympians making the lead even a little bigger. It's going to be Alex Tejeda putting the 2-0 after the deflection off the chest of the defender. And the finish, nothing to do for the keeper as well on this one. And Olympians taking a 2-0 lead. When everybody thought it was over, Capital City came back. Great header by Joe Morley in the 73rd minute. Putting things 2-1. And still giving Capital City some type of hope to come back into this game. And they did. Free kick. Ball hitting the post. Would have been wonderful if that ball would have gone in. The rebound. The through pass. And the finish by Kieran first in the 82nd minute. Putting things 2-2. Two to two. Capital City was more alive than ever. 2-2. Two to two. And when everybody thought it was over. It's Israel Espinosa with the header in the 85th minute. Putting Olympians FC 3-2 up. And taking the first semifinal. And another goal by the Olympians. Number 24. 3-2 was the victory of Olympians FC over Capital City. Second semifinal between Ginger Alana and Brockton FC. It's a penalty, and it's Antonio Correa opening up the scoreline from the penalty spot. Ball ending in the back of the net. It was a 1 0 lead for Brockton FC United. And, uh, Brockton has now got the penalty and scored by number 93, Antonio Correa. It's going to be Wilder Barros with the shot from the left side. Inside of the box, putting it in the back of the net. Ginger Atlanta tying the game 1 1. Go on the 30th minute for Wilder Barros. Good save here by the keeper. The rebound and the finish once again by Wilder Barros. Turning the game around and putting in Ginger Atlanta up 2-1 to one in the scoreline. The keeper going crazy, celebrating with his teammates. The shot, beautiful shot by Jeffrey Otto in the 70th minute, putting Ginger Atlanta 3-1 up. Great finish by number 12 with a little dance at the end. And then another penalty, in this case given to Brockton FC. And again, it's going to be Antonio Correa from the penalty spot again, putting the game 3-2, to two, giving Brockton some type of hope, which at the end, they ended up falling in the second semifinal. Ginger Atlanta's through, and they're in the final. Final will be between Olympians FC and Ginger Atlanta, while the third place game will be between Capital City and Brockton FC United. We're going to go ahead and review what happened in that third place game.
Great game with a lot of chances here. It's going to be Nilton De Andrade. But in Brockton FC United 1-0 in the 32nd minute. A little mistake there by the goalkeeper who couldn't capture the ball correctly. It slips through. And Brockton FC is up 1-0 in the 32nd minute. In this third place game in the national UPSL finals. Some more chances here for Brockton FC. Good clear here in the line by the defender. Another save by the goalkeeper as well. After that good shot. And here is silly mistake in the back by Capital City. And the finish by Alejandro Goncalves. Putting it in the back of the net. Brockton FC going up 2-0 on the scoreline. The defender loses the ball. And the finish by Alejandro Goncalves. Another mistake in the back by Capital City. And another finish, this time by Kevin De Pina. After that great cross from the right side and the finish in the left. Nothing to do for the goalkeeper on this one as well. And Brockton FC taking the lead 3-0. Little celebration day towards the camera. Make sure the photograph gets taken. And then Capital City getting some goals towards the end. Set piece here. And the goal by Parker Fai. In the 85th minute. Great kick and great header by Parker Fife. In the 85th minute, putting things 3-1. to one. And then from another set piece, this time, a corner kick. It's going to be the header by Anderson McDaniel in the 90th minute, putting things 3-2. to two. We're going to quickly hear the testimony of Herminio Furtado, the coach from Brockton FC who will end up earning the third spot place in the national semifinals, or in this case, in the national finals of the UPSL. Let's hear what we'd have to say. a good game. Uh, I think both teams wanted to win. Uh, none of the teams wanted to go home without a win. Uh, we uh, were lucky to score three goals early and go up three nothing. But it was disappointing to concede two late goals. Uh, and uh, but we're happy with the uh, result. We got to look at, the, at those two goals we uh, we conceded late. Uh, it shouldn't happen. It's something we need to work on. Uh, but I understand it was at the end of the game. Uh, our players were really, really exhausted, you know, had not having practiced for three months and, and competed for three months. Uh, I'm satisfied with the game that my players uh, uh, played. Great experience for, for our athletes. Uh, this is what we want to do, provide this, this stage so that our players can develop and, and get experience. And uh, looking at it that way, we are really, really happy for the opportunities our players uh, got here uh, to express themselves. Uh, it's not the result that we wanted. We wanted to win this competition. We know that we have uh, talent to win, uh, but uh, we are in a better position to win it in the future because of this experience. This is it, ladies and gents, the grand finale between Olympians FC and Ginger Atlanta. A game with a lot of chances for both teams. First, it was a better half for Olympians FC, who managed to get some chances. Ginger Atlanta quickly coming back into the game with chances as well. Here's the ball hitting the post. Ginger Atlanta, a well-known team in the UPSL. Had stated great chances for both teams in the first half and the second half. The 
penalties are going to be in favor of Ginger Elena, which are going to end up taking it. The first one was for Mateo Mejia, who converts it for Olympians. Then Jeffrey Odo for Ginger Elena. Juan Hernandez misses a second penalty. Great save by the keeper Alberto Siroy. It's going to be Tyrone putting Ginger Elena 2 1 up. Steven Elias missing it. And then Wilder Castro putting 3 1 and Ginger up. And then Alex Tejera missing the fourth penalty. Ginger Elena wins 3 1 on penalties. We're going to quickly hear the testimony from Alberto Siroy, the MVP of the final. Joao Garcia, Victor Profit, and Rodrigo Sequeira. What can I say, you know? It's an unbelievable feeling, you know, like that's... Everyone who plays soccer, everyone who plays football, dream to be a national championship. And we did it, undisputed, undisputed undefeated championship. Something that is going to stay in their history. We said in the beginning, uh, since June, we were talking about it, you know, we always believe it. Uh, we told each other, let's leave a legacy. Let's pick up the jersey and leave it in a better place for generations to come. First of all, thank, uh, we want to thank God for this, for this opportunity to, to be here. Uh, we've worked very hard for this and, and to thank all our families to, for everything that they've done throughout the whole year. It's been an amazing campaign and, and an even more amazing uh, Final Four. Two games where, where we had a man down and, and we fought and we were able to pull it off. It's the victory of a whole family, of a whole group and yeah, we, we always say that we train every day since August, since May and today finally we, it's the, the end of the, this path and we can't be more proud than that. That's my final word. So we got a really tough match today. Um, you know, with one, one man last, one man down, it's pretty tough with a quality team on the other side. But, you know, our quality, the way that we play soccer, uh, is the best soccer in the nation. As you guys can see, we are undefeated 21 uh, victories in a row. It's not for anybody, it's not for everybody. So, uh, and we got Alberto, which is like a great keeper. Uh, I'm honored that uh, I'm on the bench for him and I'm learning a lot from him. And uh, I'm pretty sure next year we have great things to come. The boys deserve it. They deserve it. They, they've done this, you know, for seven months now, every single day, and been able to perform every week uh, at that same high level. So it's very gratifying to be here as national champions. Um, just, you know, really want to thank God and thank all the families for making this possible. full season national finals MVP Alberto Siroy from Jenga Atlanta. Congratulations to the magnificent goalkeeper taking his team to the very highest. This week in the UPSL, 
we'd like to congratulate our four national finalists, Capital City FC, Brockton FC United, Olympians FC, and obviously our national crown champions, Jenga Atlanta, taking the final 3-1 in penalty shootout. See you next time, and this week in the UPSL.